Ah, welcome everyone to another episode of Victoria 2. Not Victoria 2. Why do I always say that? It's EU4. There are so many differences between those two games. Anyways, guys, we are back. We are doing fine. We're doing great. I mean, we're just getting our fabricated claim onto the Swahili, which then we're going to go to war with them so we can gain lots of their money. Still about the 10,000 gold worth of treasury. And then from there, we will then go upwards and go t take a little bit of Lower Sid from the Meloir's people from there. And then from there, we will conquer the world. Wahahaha. Nah, I don't think we'll be able to do world conquest in this map, but hey, we still had fun, right? And we have another, we're converting another place. By the way, what are the tolerant face we have right now, people? Only Protestants, and we consider every we hate everyone else. Okay, that's good to note. So, anyways, guys, we're back here in this game where I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get these guys to like me. We are so close, like literally so close to figuring out if I can actually do this. Well, probably you guys already know if I can do this from watching other YouTubers, but I don't know if I can do this. So this is like a learning. This is like a learning for me. Let's see, can I like just pump out like ah? So close, I'm like right there. Maybe I can get maybe I could send him one more gift. Maybe that's how I'll do it. Because I'm like right there. Just need five more relationships. We gained the causes conquest causes Belai. Oh, they gained it naturally? I didn't even have to do anything? No wait, I had to send diplomats. Okay. Uh let's declare war on take Sophia. Okay, let's go. Let's go. And then the guy that we all know from colonial times. John Nobly, he's been involved in my army for years on years. I mean, this guy, he fought every type of person you know to man. Okay. Like, he's fought every single type of native known to man. He's fought people in Africa. He's fought people in America. He's fought in everywhere. And this guy is going to go in and go defeat the Swahili. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm not, uh, my diplomats aren't coming back for a couple days. So we can just focus in on this war. So let's see, let's just go in, go like, take over as much as we can, the battle of whatever. <laughs> oh gosh. And my money's going a little bit negative, that's not good. Well, I actually going to war in, in this war for money. Uh, seems like they have a couple armies right over there. Uh, 14k is not too bad. It's not big enough to stop me, I can tell you that. I'm going to, I'm going in no matter what they do, so... They seem to be trying to do a good strategy of avoiding this. Oh shoot, wait a minute, I have no protection on that colony. Oh no. Oh wait, wait, okay, we just have to make sure they do not conquer it. Okay, military access from the Aztecs, nope. I'm not gonna do that, okay. Um, you guys, let's see. I sent one more gift. We only, oh fit. we have recently sent a gift. Only our last gift will affect relations. Gotta be something else I can do. Offer military access, maybe? Does that help with diplomatic relations? Yes! Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, so does offer military access help with anything? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay, offer vassalization next turn. Okay, let's go to that. Let's do Siege of Over. Go destroy the Swahili men. And apparently, they actually have. Ships. Wow. Good job, guys. I have an army, though. That's the one thing I want to prove to you guys. I have an army. And, as usual, my guy did excellent in his job of destroying people. He'll go over here and find out what's over here in Swahili land. Oh, no. Yeah. And we got conversion successful. Alright. And we got a new invested idea. I'm not going to invest in economics. Uh, conversion. Let's just keep converting. Alright, we're gonna go figure out more land that's over here, because I don't really know much about this land over here. Well, I do know about this land over here from previous experience from playing this game, but I don't actually know in this game. So let's just let's just go explore everything around here. That way, if we do go to war with them in the future, it'll be much easier. And because I think my explorer is getting kind of old, 
Okay, we got ports blocked. Eh, I don't really care. <laughs> they can try as hard as they want. I already have the war goal, so... Now it's just ticking away at them. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, buildings. We could build a couple in more than three provinces. Really? I can build a temple in more than three provinces. What about this? Let's get that right there. Oh, I can't build it there yet. That stinks. That totally does stink. Post office. Can I build a post office? Nah. I'm not gonna build a post office. Okay. Well, let's see. Pest glove. Let's see. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! My king, Peskov, has accepted our graces! Okay, and then annexation of Vassal. Oh, your Vassal needs to have a 190 opinion of you. Okay, uh... Okay, so... Yes, I think we can get over the religious. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that it would say we could get over the religious like stuff because I was kind of getting angry that I could not convert any of these like people right next to me because they were all like really Ugh, rebels this this rebellious whole oh, sniper what the heck happened to our country why is it like that low there we go what the heck happened Okay, I declared war with the good causes Belli, so that shouldn't be the reason, but what happened? That's really weird. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. That's really... Oh, it might be because I just integrated these guys. Maybe that's it. Alright, so I have to annex these guys when they're at 190. Okay. So I have to get their approval again, and then I should be able to annex them. Alright, over here, we're just casually sieging through their land. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, the only reason why we're in this war is, in fact, I'll send him a, a diplomat to tell him what we want in this war. We want all your gold! As much gold as my galleys can carry, we want it all. Like, I don't even care about the land, I just care about the gold. And, let's see, can we only steal 3,000 each time? No, we can go really high with this. Let's just see how much we want to take. Everything. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. Let's see, so 550 and I need 100% war score. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to achieve. If they if they accept that, then we will then we will peace out. We will not take any land from them. They can keep all the good, hardened um, land, but all we want is their money. Okay, and you have a free advisor slot. That is not a good thing. So it is in the most important part of the day, too. You need at least 406, 27 upkeep. Yeah, we could not do that, so let's do stability cost, yearly prestige, let's just do that. Um, that should actually get us in the negatives a little bit, so I'll put my money up just like there. Um, we're still going down in terms of inflation. In fact, we could actually reduce that by a lot. Does it cost administration? Yes, it does. How close are we to administra administration? Not very close, so let's just like decrease it by a lot. Yeah, there we go. That should help with our money situation and all that. And now we just watch as our soldiers slowly but surely seize the rest of the Swahilis. <coughs> Excuse me, people. Okay. Yeah, our soldiers are just like, Psh, this is easy. Like, is John still leading the army? Yes, John Nobly, he's still leading the army. Conversion successful, yay! Tax modifier and all that kind of thing is going good. Apparently, rebels have seeds to one of my holdings. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Uh, first, let's go to conversions. Um, can't go to Holdenstein yet. Holdenstein's very much resisting me. Um, but over here, I don't know why you aren't chasing down any of these guys. And you know what? I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna start using 30 of my own militaristic power to stop these guys from revolting. Seriously, this is annoying now. Like, they should not be revolting. Okay, and convert this from Aztec. I was thinking I was gonna keep the Aztec culture around, but you know, after long thinking about it, let's just I'm just gonna destroy them. Alright, and right there. Let's go right there. Do that. Let's go use this right over here. We'll go take back that. And yeah, this is how the rest of the world's looking right now. And those levels are over there. <laughs> those levels are over there, not in my land. That is a great news right there. They're not in my land, they're in the other enemy's land. Okay. You guys, can you please finish up your siege? Like, seriously, you guys are at 49%. You got 49%. Finish up. Really? 
I don't know what is with all this instability that's going on right now in my realm. Like, seriously, everyone's just like, meh, meh, meh. Uh, it's like an angry little child. Like, everyone's just like, I'm angry at you, I'm angry at you, I'm angry at you. Okay. I'll deal with that one in a second. Okay, there we go. Finally, go down. Go destroy them. Jeez, agriculture revolution. Uh, as we did before, get manpower. Because manpower is always good. Okay, next. Let's see, is my army reached over here yet? Uh, yeah, I'm just... I think the, the, the solution to this problem right here is I'm just going to have to get another army over here. So, actually, let's just start building. Let's actually make this from the actual colonies so they'll actually feel proud about themselves. Because this is actually an army that was homegrown over here. So let's just make, like, three soldiers right over there to start dealing with that. Over here, I don't know what we were doing over here, but it was pretty important, and it was making the, col the people mad. So let's see, back, I was doing absolutely nothing and these guys were revolting. That makes the most sense I've ever heard. Okay, and we still got all my ships doing stuff, uh, 16 men, still got everything going, okay. Let's go back to the Swahili war, and I got my soldiers, <laughs> my soldiers are now making these guys retreat, okay, and we're just going to, we're just going to casually engage them right there colony damage that's fine I mean they can I'll let I'll let the Eskimos people you know do what they have to to try to protect themselves you know they do deserve more stuff so I'll let them do what they have to and let me see what is our negative relationships have caused by like neighboring colony rejected alliance oh I know I would never reject an alliance from you guys improve relationships let's see can we improve relationships with those guys like seriously Alright, we just got more greed, a greedy, okay, do we want ducats and mutualism? Uh, hmm. Let's do that. Okay, just killed off the entire army. Now it's just time to go siege down. Like, I don't think they have any other army down here, so let's just like, spread out and siege. <laughs> that was a great war, guys. Seriously, good effort. Good effort. Okay. And I'm actually going a little bit too high for my computer, so I'm just going to go back down. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, we are doing, like, really, really well. Okay. And so now that I know I could actually, like... So now I know I could actually, like, get people that are smaller than me, that are not the same religion as me, to my religion. I mean, to be a vassal me. Which means that I can slowly integrate them into our society. Which is pretty nice because then it's like non-threatening, so no one's really too mad at me for it. But you know, you know what I mean. Ah, dang it, rebels. Rebels, okay, what do you guys want? Scandinavian peasants. Uh lower 50 prestige. Uh less in taxes, so. No. Just give me a second, I'll go deal with you guys in a second. I haven't really been focusing in on this part of America yet. Uh, we, have, we have tons of colonial stuff we're dealing with. Okay. You guys go crush them first, and then go start dealing with the rest of the rebels. Seriously. Use common sense, guys. Use common sense. Okay, one of the sieges is over. You guys move up. I'll have this army keep moving up, because it has John Nobly, and he'll like link up the rest of the land. They'll have another army just stay down here and just do whatever. Like, siege down the rest of the provinces. That's how I'll divide that. Back over here in America. Uh, finish the siege. Come on. Okay, you know what? Colony damaged. Native uprising. Oh, these guys are not... These guys are being completely vicious to me in these colonies. Alright. But anyways, you guys just go right here. Break off. Go destroy these guys first. And then we'll start dealing with... Oh. And they just finished too. Okay, we'll break off into two units and just go deal with these guys. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Come on guys, hurry. There we go. There we go. I was about to say if they lost, I'd be so mad. Okay, so we got those guys in these our control. Rebel spawns. Let's see, are they native? Yes, they are native, so they should not be that technologically advanced. So we should be able to fight them pretty easily. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna win that. Okay, we got 90k in reserve. Wow, that's a ton of soldiers. Okay, over here we're gonna go send this army now up there. We're gonna go send this army down here. 
So it seems like I, the bigger rebels seem to spawn over there instead of down here. So that's what I think we'll do. We'll just like deal with the rebels down up. We'll send our bigger army up here to go deal with them, then send our small army down here in Mexico. Okay. Let's see. Convert the convert this culture. Yeah. Yeah. Just start. Just, we're just gonna convert everything. Good news! Yay! I don't think they're gonna. I don't think the Aztecs are gonna join the. Uh, they're not gonna. I don't think they're gonna join us in accepted cultures. As much as I hate to say it, wish they would. I wish my people would be more tolerant towards other people. That'd be really nice. Because then we could like be friends with everyone. Everyone could be like really happy. Maybe as administrative. Not diplomatic. Uh. Well, I think I just have to wait until this war ends, and then I'm actually going to go into another war after this. Now that I'm thinking about it, I am going to go into another war after this. Do I need to decrease my infamy right now? Nah, we can keep the war, we can keep the war stuff going for a little bit, and let's see. Peklov, you guys completely love us. Let's see, I want to annex these guys. It is not possible to offer annex annexation until July 5th of 1647 okay but at least we now know we can annex them that is the good thing all right let's see would you guys like us hmm hmm well, let's see how's our diplomatic relationships going right now we have two out of our six. Oh my goodness we have a ton of diplomatic expansion that we could do so let's see they have one three four five Hmm, that might be a little bit too big for us to annex. I think if they were four under, we could probably do it, but I think that's a little bit too much. That stinks. Annexing Pomerania would probably have been the easiest way of making them a part of our empire. Okay, Battle of Mohawk, we lost again. I I'm almost declaring that these are like the terrible troops of the uh, place. They keep losing to the Mo Mohawk. Okay, you know what? As soon as these guys are done with their siege, I'll go send them up to you guys. You guys are both going to join together, and you guys are going to go destroy this. Because that's really kind of sad. That's happened twice already. Twice! Oh, gosh. Seriously, twice. Okay, we got money now, so I'm going to go, like, build some more stuff. Let's see. Make sure that every place in the world has at least level 2 forts. There we go. And then, let's see. Trade Depot? No. Uh, shipbuilding, constable, local trade modifier, local tax modifier. Let's get some local tax modifier going. All up in Norway. Norway. Let's get that all done. There we go. And let's continue the game. Alright. Okay, we have changed our culture province. Yes. So now this is... One of these provinces over here is now completely Scandinavian. Excellent, and we got a self-standing colony! Yeah, yeah! Okay, so now we'll put some more people right there. Um... Okay, and now we're gonna move in right here. Sending more of our soldiers over here, and then once we get these two provinces, we have officially blocked up all of America from any of these other Europeans. They cannot, for the love of them, get any of this land that we have. That's gonna be nice. It's going to be nice knowing that we have a nice buffer zone. Okay, and a couple of my places finishing sieging. I'll move down a little bit. You guys go move up. And apparently I think my leader died. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to get one conquistador right now because I do need to... Yeah. Yeah, and there's a gigantic army right there. That's not good. And colony damaged. That's not good again. And there's a native uprising again. Okay, and once you guys are done with that siege, make sure no natives over there. Any natives over here in my African colonies? No, they seem to be pretty peaceful over here. That's good. That's really good. But we have to group up these two armies right over here. I have to wait for that siege to finish, though. That's the only thing. I, I lost the Battle of St. Lawrence. Uh, seems like the pirates are starting to become more numerous. I might have to start making a lot more trade ships to start dealing with all this. Okay, and the sweating sickness spreads through Stockholm. Uh, flees the city, we lose ducats. Spend every effort to the limits, or salvation and priority are the only answers. Let's lose 100 diplomatic power. Okay, now I'm starting to worry about the diplomatic power. We've had six of those events fired. That is not good anymore. 
Okay, there we go. They finished the siege. I'm gonna go send these guys over. Go group up with that army. And we're gonna go take down those Mohawk army. And then we're just gonna keep an army right over there to make sure they do not revolt anymore. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Welcome, guys, to another episode of EU4, where I am trying desperately to fight these rebels over here that are giving, like, doing a good fight. Like, they are actually giving us a good, hard-earned fight. I don't necessarily like that, but they are. <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, right now we have, like, 15k, 55k stacked up against my border for some precarious reason. Uh, I'm not particularly liking that, but... It's not good. Um, plus side though, we do have armies invading and sieging and doing lots of stuff that people of the other religions don't like. We're also increasing the Protestant religion, which is good. We're also going to go kick the butt of these natives because I'm getting sick and tired of natives coming into my land over here. This should be, uh, if anything, this should be the army that should be able to destroy them. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, and we got another siege over with. Uh, I don't want you guys to move in just yet. As soon as these guys are done sieging, then I'll move you guys in, because that's a big army right there. And I want to make sure that... Okay, you guys finish sieging. Good. Go group up with them, and then you guys are both going to go attack at the same time. Destroy them. Chase them all over here. Destroy the rest of them. And then we'll end right there. I think they're almost done. Like, they're almost done with this war, okay? 9k. Let's go destroy them now. Uh, well, I gotta admit, this is the most organized revolt I've ever seen the natives win. And they won, a, like, a couple of these battles. The Iroquois Nationalists, I give you guys a credit. You guys have beaten me to the pulp. And have made me rethink about you guys' independence, but... I'm a little bit sick of you guys, so please go away. Like, seriously, go away. There we go. Okay, now siege out. Spread out. Let's get this. Let's get these all back underneath our control. Oh, it's finally done. The final war is done with. Let's see. And do we have any more troops we can build? No. We can build some more ships. I think that's what I'm probably going to do. Is build some more... Um, what are they called? Ships? I think I need to get some more... Not merchant men, but... Early frigates. In the seas. Because I think I need to patrol my is just a slightly bit better because I do have lots of claims almost everywhere so yeah let's start doing that more okay let's increase that we have changed the culture yay more places that are converting to us which is good and apparently somebody is offering peace offer Swahili are they giving what I want 3,300 no not for as much trouble as I've gone through with you guys we're fighting for the 5,000. I mean, we could get 3,000 any other time in this game, so... 5,000 is what we want. And you guys are going down here, which is actually a good sign, because I actually need to go crush these rebels, so... Just follow the, uh... The Swahili men, wait until they stop. Accommodations with the natives! Yay! We're actually getting along with the natives! Hooray! Okay, and Colonial Ventures, alright. Abandon Supreme, Diplomatic... Uh, do that. Okay. Yeah, they're retreating as fast as they can. I don't know where they're actually retreating to. Okay, that's a very weird spot to retreat to. I'm just gonna say that now. I'm gonna go destroy these rebels. Do. Why do we destroy them? This way. You've changed the culture again. Good job. Good job. Culturalization program. And let's see, we have tons of money now. Now that we're actually in the positive, we actually have tons of money. Eh, Pomerania is our vassal. I just don't think it's gonna work. Like, as much as I'd want it, I just don't think it's gonna work. So I just don't think I'll do it. Okay, you guys are supposed to be protecting, uh, not the Caribbean, the Chesapeake Bay. So we have, that's where most of our power lies right now. We have a ton of power in this trade node. In fact, we have most of this trade node. Over here, we have basically the majority share of this. I mean, the British have a lot of it just because they have already had, like, themselves there. Uh, over here in the Caribbean, it seems like the Portuguese eventually displaced me from over here. 
um, don't really care because I wasn't really working on the, on the Caribbean in the first place, so yeah, they can have it. Over here, I have a lot of the power because I took it from the Aztecs. Woohoo! Um, Ivory Coast, how much power do I have in the Ivory Coast? A decent amount, like, uh, I'm like the third biggest person right now who owns something over here. That's pretty interesting. You only have only one colony over there. Congo, we have a good share of it. Over here in Zanzibar. Oh gosh, I just realized I probably... No, I'm not in this one. I'm over here in Durango. This one should be owned by France. Yeah, France owns that entire one. Um, but the one I'm in is right here. Okay, so I am in this trade node. Let's see. Uh, most of the trade power comes from Swahili. Just transfer the trade power to me and I would own all of it. Wahahaha. Okay, back to the war. Mm. More changes to culture. And the soldiers are now hopefully gonna all die. Did we destroy them? Nope. Native uprising again. Uh, but this time it's in one of our peaceful settlements. Oh gosh. These, these guys that took it, these guys were on a hard route. I mean, they had so many native uprisings. But luckily we only have one more colony to go. And then we have the entire coastline and that means no one else can get into America without our permission which is going to be great we own all of North America no one else can claim that we own it no one else okay and we're just going to just keep going upwards through here I'm glad they follow a good set path because this makes it really easy for us to do this and you guys you guys about ready to give up what I want no I'm accepting 5,000 and no and no less okay Siege is over. Yay! What is this? Call for peace. Oh. Sidester. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so we can't get everything I want. Can I take one little land? Hmm. I, I, just, I just have an impulse. Sorry, guys. I have, like, impulsive to, like, take land. But, yeah, this wasn't about land. This was about money. And that's it. Anything else we can do? Maybe, like... Transfer trade power. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. I don't think I'll be able to do that, but let's just do that. It's boom! Wahaha. Okay, and we got zero ducats or zero anything bad stuff happening to us, whatever. That was the quickest and easiest amount of money I've ever gotten. So now we have 5,000 in the bank. And now let's just make sure all my colonies have level 2 ports. Good, and now we can even... It was like one colony that doesn't. That's just right here. And plantation wise, we can build another plantation. Let's just build Hispaniola will be like my plantation colony. They'll be like the one place. And Jamaica and Trinidad. They're all the places in the Caribbean that will all be plantations. It makes sense logically for history. And what else do we want to do with our money? Uh, we could just build so much with it. I wanna let's see if we can but honestly though, this time I wanna see if I can honestly keep a thousand in my reserves, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. Like, seriously. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'll try. And let's just, like, spread all this around, all this good, hard-earned wealth. Oh, gosh. Great war, guys. Great war. That's all I gotta say. Great war. Great and, and really, really profitable war. <laughs> okay, we almost got all of our land done with. Let's just, yeah, let's just finish up the rest of um, natural, natural Scandinavia, uh, there we go, and then this little island right here, oh yeah, it's not really owned by us, really, and anything else we need to get, special buildings, post office, not really interested, unique buildings, uh, war college, university tradition, leadership without upkeep, that might be nice, uh, fine arts academy, still one, right there. Okay, there we go, and apparently that was like a thousand, but it's going to be built in Stockholm, so Stockholm should have a good enough amount of range, and we are done with that. So guys, now what we need to do is we now need to build an entirely new fleet um, to transport men again, because as you guys know, we lost the previous fleet due to my stupidity. Yeah, I, if there's one problem, this is one problem I can always see with this campaign, is probably I was a little bit too incompetent. But we're going to combine all you guys, and you guys are going to, like, uh, yeah. You guys are going to, like, go and protect the, uh, 
Not the Zanzibar. We don't need the Zanzibar. Not the Novgorod. Not the Baltic Sea. Not the Chesapeake Bay. We need the Hudson Bay route portrayed. We need you guys to just go and patrol the Hudson Bay route to make sure that it's not, you know, overly taken by rebels or something like that. That would be terrible. Okay. Let's go right here. Oh no, oh no. Okay, and then we finally finished up over here. Alright. Go send half of the army down here and hope, and let's please hope that these guys do not get mad at me. They're all Swedish. This is the only place that is not Swedish, right here in Mohawk. Finish up c culturalizing them, and let's be done with it. Okay, anyways, uh, much more stuff. Anything else I need to do? No, I think this is going to be a good relaxing moment, because I think I'm not going to go to war for a good amount of time. Um, the British seem to have took, taken over this. Not necessarily what I wanted to happen, but I apparently can't stop him right now. Um, yeah. Continuing on. Let's see, military access from the Aztec. Nope! <laughs> I'm not giving you military access worth of squat. Let's see, Holy Roman Empire, he is so close. He just needs two more decisions. That's worrying right there, that's all I gotta say. The battle goal for St. Lawrence. Whatever that is, it's like really, really powerful. Let's go see if we can go send in 12 ships to go fight them. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know why. Let's go have these guys. There we go. There we go. That's the reason why these guys were losing. Okay, that makes more sense. So now you guys go and patrol the... We could have people... Hmm. Uh, Scandinavia is transferring Grab to his trade power. Okay. We do need some in our Baltic Sea, but we do need to keep making sure. Send Hudson Bay. I don't know where you guys were sent to, but I'm going to change you guys to the Chesapeake Bay. There we go. There we go. Now we have both of our trade powers going in place. And we're fully supporting both of our armies. That is sweet! Like, we're so fully supporting both of our armies. We don't have to, like, sacrifice one for the other. They're both being supported equally. That is awesome. Seriously, that is awesome. Okay. I mean, this is, like, the golden age of, of uh, Sweden slash Scandinavia. We have colonies everywhere. We have stretched up power almost everywhere across the world. Seems like somebody is trying to colonize here. Hopefully it's not who I think it is, but you never know in this game. And Merchants Worry! Uh, we could do that. Gain one Merchantalism. That's always good. And I have one free Diplo! What am I doing? Okay, let's just increase our relationships with Pomerania. Even though I actually don't want to, uh, you know, make him our vassal, we can at least increase relationships so they do not hate us. We do not want people to hate us, because then they form coalitions against us, and that's really bad. And we finally have a self-sustaining colony. That's all good, so now we're going to go send it over here, and there, voila. We've officially blocked up everything over here in America. No one else can get through. We've done it, guys. We have officially... <laughs> oh, gosh. We've officially blocked up everything. We have changed the culture. We've improved our relationships as much as possible with that country. It's good. Let's just keep improving relationships with everyone. Seriously, just let's just improve relationships with people that hate us. And right next to us, uh, Molster hates us. Aus France just like is at war with Austria. Oh, oh yes, this was the war I've been waiting for. Oh, sweet, yes. <laughs> that was really weird. I said that really weird, but oh, sweet, yes. Okay. Um, let's see. I know how to fix this one because I just learned it. Let's send a diplomatic money. Okay. So let's see. Pomerania, I think you guys are going to peacefully enter my union. Or unpeacefully enter my union. This, this is probably the best chance we have about attacking anyone that's been right next to us. While the Austrians are fighting France, the biggest power in the entire game, this is probably the best chance we have. Han and Hansa and Pomerania are going directly at it. Ooh, that's a, that's a good battle right there. Okay. And they're gonna fight each other. Okay. 
Okay, how quickly can we get the claim? Probably not very quickly. Oh gosh, can I just declare war randomly? Oh, they Dawn Snake! I still got a core on that? <gasps> oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Before I do this, I'm gonna see if I can get you guys as an alliance member. Okay. So now you guys, now you guys are now all like, this is now gonna count towards me. So I just need to get you guys positive with me. So 350 should do. Um, because we need at least one ally in this. That way we make sure we don't like kill ourselves. Okay. Now wait until they come back. Wait until a diplomat comes back. Come on, quickly, quickly, come on. Come on, guys. This is like. This is like really tense. If we can do this, well, they're still at war. We could potentially. Oh wait, yes, it's still at war. Okay, okay. And Hansa defeating all the Pomeranian army. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. You guys are gonna make an alliance with us? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll go in solo then. Unless the Bo oh no, wait, the Bohemians want to join in. Let's do this. Okay. And most likely the HRE captain will join in. Yes, the HOE is now the war leader, but he's going to be pretty occupied with France, I would guess. Like, I'm pretty sure he's fighting really super duper hard against France, so he's not going to join in. And plus, we just have to figure out how much it costs to sue for peace for this guy. Let's see. How much money will it cost us to... Oh wait, offer tribute. That's what I meant. There we go. Okay. Send offer. And yes, that didn't make me kind of bankrupt, I know. I know, guys. Don't start yelling at me in the comments about that, but... As I've learned through much EU3 experience, it's... it's I mean, EU4 experience, it's better that we got that than got completely destroyed by them. Okay, and... You guys, I'm gonna for once ask for military access for you guys. Ask for military access. Do you wish to request military access for thereby allowing your armies to move through? Yes. Give me military access. Hansa, thank you. Okay, we took a 289 loan. Did they allow us to move through? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got military access, didn't we? Uh huh? Oh, shit. Shoot! Oh gosh, I think I just know what my mistake was. Ah, shoot. Okay, that... <laughs> Can I declare war again? <laughs> Why don't we do that? <laughs> it's like, that was terrible on my part. And yeah, I just took three, three stability for it, but gosh, that was terrible. Uh, I accidentally, I see, I know what I did, guys. I accidentally pieced out the wrong person. So that caused major problems. And at least I got what I wanted. Ugh, gosh. I feel like an idiot. I'm just an idiot. Seriously. Oh, gosh. I pieced out the wrong person. Like, seriously, just the wrong, wrong, wrong person. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna start sending more of my armies over here. I'm gonna keep this army right here. I'm gonna go sending more of my armies over here. And, oh gosh. Instability again. <laughs> oh man. Well, I can officially say I'm a noob at this game. Gosh, that, that, oh gosh, that's like. Oh gosh. Uh, I just reduce all the. Just reduce it. I know I'm gonna lose a lot of my uh, admin power, but oh gosh, that was sad. Okay, so now let's go. Um, let's see who colonized right here, Portugal. I expected them to. Um, oh my goodness, what happened here? These guys are becoming like a regional power. That isn't good. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to colonize like right about. What do I want to colonize anymore? Hmm. Can I colonize over here? Yes, I can. Really? Huh. We could do some Philippine colonies, too. Why not? Let's get some Philippine colonies. And gosh. Okay, so we're going to go to war with this again. Um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do this right. 
Um, um, we can definitely reclaim all the land. I don't think people are too much angry at me, so it'll be easy for me to just like easily conquest all these guys because I don't think they're going to be able to stand against me at all. So that's a good thing about about this. And I'm going to have to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ba -ba -ba -ba.